Hey girl. <laughs> What's right up? Hey, pretty people. We're at Publix. I got my little GoPro right now, so I don't look like a weirdo walking in with the big camera, even though it still looks kind of weird. Whatever. We're going to Camp Cannon today. Just stopping at Publix real quick to go get some lettuce and stuff. So yeah, earlier this week we went to go. Uh, we went up here. He lives in. Uh, Jupiter, Florida, a little bit north where we live. Beautiful out up here. It was rainy this morning when we woke up, but now it's actually really nice out. Where he lives is super cool. It's got lots of pine trees everywhere where we're driving. Really nice. So he's got a really cool property that we are gonna come check out, do some filming out. We went to go visit him for the first time the other day and meet him. Today, we're gonna go there. We went to Publix just now. Got some romaine lettuce for the tortoises and other things that eat that. And he's got lots of iguanas, a bunch of tortoises. He's got a big Galapagos tortoise. He's got an Aldabra. He's got a million spur thighs. He's got all sorts of creatures at his house. He's got a couple big water monitors. He's got a bunch of cyclura. Really cool animals. We're gonna go there, hang out with him for a little bit. Maybe go swimming with uh, Slinky, the water monitor. Should be a fun day. Yeah. He's got a really dope aqua skate pond in the backyard. His setup is awesome. I can't wait to, that's why I went to go see Blake the other day. I just want to see how everybody has like their setups. So that way when I get my, when I get my new house, hopefully in the next couple years, I got some ideas going with how I want to set it all up. So stay tuned. It's gonna be fun. We're here! What's, What's up, man? <laughs> I'm stuck, man. I'm glad you're here. I can Made it. Yeah, like I was saying before, it was yeah. no bueno where we live. Well, it was like cloudy and rainy and, and whatever. It's oh, beautiful up here. I was gonna, usually, it, this is so nice. Look, you guys bring Pretty gifts and everything, yeah. man. Yeah. I, mean, I know some uh, some creatures that are gonna be happy. I'm lazy, I'm not holding the bag. Let's go. I'll show you. <laughs> By the way, just a little bit of did I hear correctly? Do you have a new addition to the family? Oh yeah, I got a baby Aldabra from Sam. All right, dude, so a couple things. I'm gonna show you my yeah. Aldabra. Teach me some stuff. This is what you're gonna need eventually, okay? You're cool. gonna want one of these suckers because they'll come in handy. You can carry tortoises in them. You can operate a one hand. This is like the, uh, well, I don't know, man. This is like the uh, Ford F-250 of, uh, of rubber made carts. Yeah. <laughs> come on, I'll show you. This is fun. Some uh, radiators uh, hanging out. I gotta tell you, man, you're awesome. You bring gifts with the animals, and that's cool. Yeah, well, I like yeah, feeding stuff. Super rad. Thank you so much. You know? So these guys, you've met them before. This is uh, Socrates and Darwin. And then I'm really hoping we find Kate. Yeah, he's well, out he's, yesterday. He was out somewhere, right? Nostradamus. He's our Aldabra, and he's just yeah, let me look. amazing. Well, Kayla, Daddy, do you want to get involved look, in hungry. this, pal? Get on in there. Do some feeding. Yeah, man, let's go. Right. This is awesome. So the little guy I got in 2005, and it was just a tiny little baby. And the whole thing with me, man, is I like to grow these tortoises slow and steady. Some guys will power feed them, but you really want to just give these animals. I, I only feed my animals maybe three times a week and they get a lot of exercise and whatever they can eat in the enclosures and with tortoises that's better because these guys man when we're feeding them human food or you know romaine and produce that we get what will happen is they can grow too fast so sometimes 
they wind up getting uh, pyramids from growing too quickly. And you'll see there's some little bit of pyramiding on. So that's not good? Well, it, it's some people freak out about it. I don't freak out too much. There's a level of what I consider um, like acceptable pyramiding, right? Um, when this guy was really young, I was raised up indoors. Now, sometimes humidity, if you don't have enough humidity when they're hatchlings, it'll cause the shell to create pyramids. Too much feeding, feeding too rich of foods uh, all the time, overfeeding, fast growth, that'll cause it as well. Hmm. And then there's a third, a third one that if you see it, we can, I'll actually show you guys uh, one of the tortoises that has it. I got a rescue tortoise and um, it's got what I would call metabolic bone disease and the pyramiding is so grotesque huh. that the actual shells deform, but we'll show that later, man. But with tortoises, slow and steady. Oh, come on, I gotta show you yeah, this guy. Check this out. So you just got a baby out there, bro? Yeah. This is what you can expect in about 15 years, bro. Damn, that's just 40 years. 140 pounder. And I know you were hanging out with our buddy from Florida, Iguana and Tortoise, good old Sam Pascucci. This is, I don't want, I don't want to give all the other tortoises a complex, Tyler, but this is my favorite tortoise, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want anyone else to hear because the, oh, you can hear me, Kayla? Shucks, dude. Now, this tortoise, um, I got when I first moved to Florida in August of 2004. I had been here about eight months and I went to the Daytona Reptile Show and I bought two of these guys. They were both that big. They were absolutely tiny. Now, let me show you why I love this tortoise because it's this, a female uh, it's a male actually yeah. which is kind of difficult to come by with galops and aldabras but he showed me his little tackle box you know uh -huh. he flipped it out and that made me happy because males are hard to come by and what's nice is um you know since females are kind of plentiful and maybe you got a female so in a few years we can kind of link them up man yeah. they have to be about 200 pounds before they'll actually breed Crazy. before they're actually fertile but anyhow so i had two of these guys one unfortunately died of pneumonia, man, about a year into having mm. it. And Nostradamus here, he's in a trance. I'll just leave this down and maybe he'll get to it. But this tortoise is just super friendly. Look at that shell. Yeah. You know, that's that's what you're aiming for. You're aiming for this beautiful dome shell that the Aldabras possess, man. It's just so rad. Yeah, the one that I picked out from Sam has a really round shell yep. also. I made sure I went through all of them. Sam's the best, man. His animals are in great shape and he he gets those animals straight from uh, the source in the Seychelles. Mm. Uh, so they're really well well started animals. And here he goes. Just, yeah, dude, Sam's house is crazy. Isn't it nice? So sick. He's got so much. And, and the other cool thing about Sam is, what a lot of people don't know is Sam's the guy that goes so deep into the husbandry of these things. Like I was watching your video with the Gab, mm -hmm. you know? And I love when people take it to that next level of making sure when the animal gets sick, you know what to do. Yeah. And Sam is, you know, my go-to guy when I first noticed something wrong. Right. He's taught me a lot. Um, I had an incident, uh, incident with my tortoise Lumpy, you'll see him in a little bit, where he wasn't acting right, called Sam. Sam told me a few things, I'll oh, check this out, do this, get it to a vet, get a feeding tube in it. Mm -hmm. And that advice saved my tortoise's life, man. Right. So it's always fun, you know, you got the husbandry of like setting yeah, up the enclosures. He's got his own little, he's got that whole little lab set up. That's right. Now. Yeah, man, he can spin blood. He can that's do a lot of cool, cool. stuff. Yeah. So that's just the, the other level of keeping reptiles that some yeah. people don't get to. Yeah. And it's really important when you're keeping a bunch of animals because, as you guys know, man, vet bills are just insane. Yeah. And many times, uh, vets don't even know what the heck to do. You know, yeah. they're used to dogs and cats. So you got to find a good exotic vet and get to it, you know. But Sam's awesome, man. And all those Cyclora, you ever think about oh, getting any of those? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I love Cyclora. Yeah, they're cool, man. They are yep, cool. Yeah, they're dope. Rhinos are also like one of my faves. Oh, yeah? yeah I, I got some rhinos, baby, man. uh, I got some babies incubating, dude. Oh, yeah, baby rhinos? Baby rhinos, man. They should be right. popping out any day, so I'm pretty excited about Keep that. Keep me posted, man. Yeah, for sure, dude. Oh, little boy. You guys want to see some more or what? Yeah, sit. Let's do it. Later, Nas. <laughs> cool, man. 15 years old. Yep. So you'll be stoked when that happens. Yeah, mine's like this. Thing. That's... And does he freak out? Like, is he nervous? <laughs> yeah, he's, he runs a, little, like yeah, he's a little crazy. They'll calm down. Once they get to a certain size, they chill out and they'll start to calm down. And then they run towards you, which yeah. is always fun. Yeah, once they get to so, uh, you know, I get a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Well, hey, look at this. 
this uh, this yellow foot climbed out mountains. That's funny. This tortoise, man, this is a yellow foot tortoise. These are pretty rad. They're related to the um, red foots I have over there, but it found a carrot apparently that that the other guy was munching on. But let's go ahead. These guys are from uh, Brazil, and they're very closely related to red foot tortoise, which I got just a few. Oh, and I want to show you, check this out. So here's what you're trying not to have happen to your tortoise. Ooh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. Isn't that nuts? So yeah. this is Lego. The folks on my channel <laughs> kind of named him Lego. Crazy. And um, But you can see this is like really grotesque pyramiding. And you see that saddle back there? Uh -huh. um, that's because the spine's so contorted, it you know, it's pulling down. So if it got much worse than this, the animal would have mobility issues, wouldn't be able to walk and stuff mm. like that. But um, it's, it's kind of hard to really screw these animals up. This is years and years of just neglect. But here's what's rad. So the cool thing is, is that we put, put Lego in with all the other guys. Even though Lego's been touched by an angel, he's uh, well received by all the other critters, man. So this is rad. Look at this. Crazy how happened. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, this is their little shelter. Come on, guys. I'll throw it right there. Yeah, these guys, all these bunkers I just built out of reclaimed concrete, and then I spray foamed them. So when we have really cold weather, they're dialed. And then to be honest, if we have a hurricane, I just can throw them in there. And uh, pretty sure that would, I don't think anything's knocking that down. Slow the ground. But there's a lot of tortoises in there, too. I don't know if they're going to do the... Uh, Stampede for us today. I think they might all be out. Come on, guys. Yeah, I think it was, oh, here they come. <laughs> I gotta get them in and clean. From an island, they're the biggest thing on the island. They don't need to be aggro. Right. And so, sulcatas are just the more, you know, everything from Africa is bigger and gnarlier. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, basically, I would just keep them separate because I'd hate to see. I actually um, have a friend, Jerry Mata, who keeps galops. He had a sulcata break into the galop pen, ram one of the galops, and put a hole in its uh, skin. And that oh, animal. I think you were telling me about that. Well, that was, yeah, that was uh, my tortoise, Lumpy, killed Zeus, who was a big sulcata, but put a hole in him. So I've got the shell. Oh, I'll yeah. get you some B roll on the shell. But you can see Lumpy and they, those Guler projections, man, they'll spear yeah, another animal. So, you know, you, I would just keep it separate, right, yeah. you know? And, oh, sorry, dude, Knock, knocking tortoises out. This is awesome. And this is basically what I do. I just feed the tortoises on the leaf, on the leaf litter, and they're, they're solid. Are they, do they do better in groups? Like, is yeah, it I'd best say, to, like, get my little Aldabra and start saving up for a friend? Man. All right, that's a tough question. Because people, like, if I was doing a reptile show and someone asked me, I always hate that question because I feel like they think I'm, I'm trying to sell them right. on, on two tortoises. Yeah, but but like the reality animals. is this. Here's the reality. They could probably live fine by themselves for the rest of their lives. Yeah. However, if you're an animal living alone without interaction from the same of your species, you're only right. displaying half of your behaviors, right? right? So why do we love reptiles? Because they're... They're interesting, they do yeah. really cool stuff. Yeah, and now. when they interact, then you kind of see a right. full, their full capacity. Right. So I always say get two, because you are you got one, mm -hmm. right? And you know, obviously that's a big ticket item or however much it was. Yeah, yeah. So what you do, it's better to get them at the same time because now you got two animals raising up. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as tortoises, they're gonna be the same size. Right. Yeah. So, well, looks like I gotta save up for another Aldebra. Ah, it'll be all right, dude. Great. No. Hey, before we swim with Slinky, I need you. I want to show you guys something uh, that I think your, you and your friends on YouTube would be stoked about. Oh, yeah. So, follow me. Let's check this out. And it's fun because Kate, Kate's a Jersey girl, and she's getting way more uh, farmed out reptile farmer. There's Lumpy. And so, real quick, you see these? Those can do damage to other tortoises, man. He pulls his head in, and he gets. He just goes full speed. Yeah, those ones are serious. They're serious, man. So that's how you tell the male sulcatas from females. Females are gonna have little dainty ones. Concave plastron on the male uh, and a longer tail on the male. But this is Lumpy, man. He was almost dead, but thankfully Sam got me to get to a good vet. We got him dialed. But check this out. This is kind of fun. This is the whole reason 
Well, this is one of the best things about working with reptiles, seeing them reproduce. So check this out. Let's see. Let's find me the nest. I know you, you're going to find it right away. You're a reptile, find dude. The find nest. the nest, dude. Find a nest. And then I want Kate to come over here because I'm, I'm, Kate is, uh, she's been going to school. When you find the nest, don't say anything because I want to see if my wife can find the I nest. I already found it. You did? Yes. You did? Really? Uh -huh. Oh wow! All right. right. I mean, I get A pluses at Camp Kennedy. There you go. Awesome. I know. Now, so so uh, here, point it down, okay? Let's see if some of the your friends on YouTube can find it before we can. It's right here. There you go. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So this can be. The center block, right? Yeah, yeah. You should have, man. No worries. But anyway, yeah. So it, this is a fresh nest. Usually, more stuff would fall on it, and in a few days you're never going to find it. These guys are really good at hiding nests, but this one is pretty apparent. So, do you want to dig it up? Sure. Come on, man. Check it out. Just this is like a cap, so just kind of pull that cap back. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty compact. Yeah, they compact that on there. There you go. Oh yeah. Man. Is that there nice? So because the nest is less than 24 hours old, I'm not really stressing on rotating the eggs because it takes about 24 to 48 hours for those eggs to, uh, for the embryo to attach to the surface uh, to the top of the eggshell like other reptiles do They're pretty big eggs it's pretty sick right yeah so these are cherry head tortoises which are basically red foot tortoises but they're from an area in brazil and they have this really pretty red head so there you go brother nice so we'll see how many she laid there usually three is pretty common but go ahead and give it a feel awesome man yeah it looks like three right on it's fun, right? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like Christmas in a way whenever you get these guys. There you go. But uh, this is the red foot. Uh, excuse me, a cherry head. And you can really see they keep that red head throughout their entire life. Whereas the red foot tortoise is going to turn yellow. These guys are full grown too. Full grown, dude. Yeah. So these guys don't get big. They don't really dig under things. They're kind of the perfect pet tortoise for Florida, to be honest. So I'm going to grab these. And then uh, why don't we go check out the pond, man? I'll throw these in the incubator. Yes. We'll go check out the pond, get you ready for a pretty fun excursion. Incubation on these is about five months, so it's pretty long. But, um, All right, so now we're going to get Slinky out the cage and bring him in this awesome aquascape Kenan's got built over here. What's that guy's name, Brian? The aquascape guy? No, that's Greg Whitstock and Ed Ballou, um you know, Ed's got a pretty cool channel all about ponds called yeah. the Pond Professor, man. Built his pond, so sick. Yeah, you'll see that. Thing. Can't wait to get a property and have it set up. We got some carpet pythons in here. These, encager, these enclosures are awesome. This is actually how I found Kenan, is from YouTube, because I got my water monitors, saw his. Look at this guy. There you go. He's really gentle, man. You know? He's so rad. Let's we're gonna we're gonna lure him out. We're gonna keep bringing Slinky out. Come on, buddy. It's it's exercise day. Get on out of here, pal. Now this lizard's so cool that he uh, he's never before tried to run away from me. Man, and you know they get bigger. Come on, Rod. Come on, Slinks. Even though it's not alive, he still shakes it just to check and make sure it's dead. Sure the course. They're awesome. So cute. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Come here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick him up. Piggyback birds. Here, grab that bucket and let's go. Just this will speed up the whole process. 
There you go, bud. So what I like to do, get him in the water. Chuck me another, uh, there we go. That is so weird. Who just looks like floating poop? Who pooped in the water? It does look like that. Yeah. Caddy shack. Yeah. Oh. Sleepy don't want to swim. Oh, he'll go in. Sometimes he likes to walk around and then he goes in on his own. That furry thing. <laughs> the microphone. I'll eat rabbit. It's just rad being in this pond, man, like, and it's not a pool. That's what I love about it. The yeah. animals can be in it. You're in with all these lilies. There's water snakes. There's, it's perfect. Little basilisks running around. I do think I have something else that I can grab that would be pretty rad for you to check out. You into it? Yeah. Right. We'll let him do his thing. If he goes in, he goes in. What's cool is both these animals are found. They have overlapping ranges, so it'll be pretty rad. I gotta get dirty though. Alright, so in here are mm -hmm. three fly river turtles and three Batagra finis. This is real slippy. Um, this is gonna become my gator pond. Mm -hmm. So eventually, before I get the gators, I gotta get these turtles out, but for right now they're happy. So I thought that water was cold. This water's chilly. And we have to just, I kind of cruise backwards. And when you bump into something, try and grab it. Oh, look at this. I needed him. <laughs> I needed this guy. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Um, would you hold him for me? You bring yeah, him over here if you want. It's a little pink belly side neck that's going to go out front. I need the male. Oh, uh, you almost lost him. Don't lose him. Yeah, they're cool, man. They're, they're also from uh, northern Australia and Indonesia. There's a really pretty turtle. Up, oh, up, oh, what do I got? Oh, 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 I don't have a fly river, but I got a big turtle. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. The heck is that? This is the Badiger of Finnis, man. This is a, a Royal River Terrapin. I'll come over and do you guys want to see it? Yeah. All right, so this is a really cool turtle because they're endangered. And these guys are on loan from the Bronx Zoo because they were getting a skin fungus. Oh, but this is a really heavy turtle. So, this guy is really awesome. It's a, oh, it's a female. 
Oh, oh my god, yeah! So, they're just a crazy looking turtle, but they can get even bigger. They'll get about 100 pounds. Damn. And um, as you can imagine, a turtle that big in Asia mm -hmm. doesn't last long. Mm. So these guys are being uh, fished out and eaten and made into soup. So there's... Got cute little faces. They have really cool faces. Yeah, a little upturned snout. And the males, which we'll probably get hands on, the males uh, really have a pretty face during breeding season. They get like really colorful. So anyhow, that's cool. It's always good to find her. It's always good to get in here and check the health out. But I got to find you guys a fly river. I will not let you down. You don't mind holding that, right? Up. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I got one. I got it. Oh <laughs> All right, let's go. We got what we came for. And it's just the one I wanted. <laughs> How rad is that, huh? Awesome. They get big, dude. Oh, they're so sick. Yeah. Here, I'll trade you. Grab it. Just two hands. <laughs> and you can talk to the folks about that. I'll Check be right back. Out. Fly a river turtle. So cool. Hey, man. So we're gonna go swimming in the pond with this guy. This is like the freshwater sea turtle. These guys are so cool. He's big. Yeah, that's a good size fly. This came from a zoo, he said. Hey man, let's go. We get it from this side. This one you can actually see in. Look. Look at that. What? He's good, he's good. No, he's good. Oh, the snake, it eats the snake. See, it's funny. See, you got a TV background. You know how much it sucks to yeah. set up shots. You don't need to do that. Yeah, that's, just that's just it. Hey, so that's it. That's all. Thank you, bro. Dude, really cool hanging with you, man. I'm really excited, and we got to do some more. Yeah, for sure. All right, we got to get a crew together yep. and do something uh, really exciting in there. Yeah, put some comments down below. Give us some ideas of what you guys want to see. We'll do a big collaboration. Me, Kenan, Chandler, Will, Blake, whoever. We'll get a bunch of animals over here. Do some cool stuff. Let us know what you guys want to see. Go follow cool. Camp Kennan. Thank you. Badass content. I love the place, man. Thank you so much, man. Can't wait to get a property. I got so many ideas going on. I, I can't wait to help you. Please, please. All right, right here, man. Don't let me hanging on camera. That would be really shitty. I'll Thank see you, you later. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right.